UPSC prelims exam is just three months away. It is on June fifth. So what shall we do in the last three months to enhance our score? Whatever may be your strategy from last ten months or one year, it is basically building up your basics or strengthening your foundation or completion of syllabus. But in the last three months, you have to specifically focus on certain elements, certain areas, so that you can improve your score in the prelims examination. So today in this video, I am going to tell you those common things that you have to follow. One thing is we have to come into the mindset of UPSC exam. So attempt last eight years of UPSC prelims papers. Though you are writing several mock exams of several institutes, none of the institutes or none of the mock exams can match with the UPSC prelims exam. The reason is in the actual UPSC prelims exam. Most of the questions test your common sense, logical thinking. How do you eliminate the wrong answers? How can you do the guesswork? So these things cannot be tested in the regular mock exams. Regular mock exams will be asking you only the questions from some standard textbooks. Hence, we have to write last eight years UPSC prelims exam once again. Though we have done it previously, do it once again. Then you'll go into that mindset of UPSC. Second thing I want to tell you is. If you are writing mock exam of any one institution, please try to write two to three other institutes also, because for every institution there will be a, a team which will be preparing the question papers, and they have one kind of mindset. All the papers will be of that mindset. So if you write only that institute, you actually go into that mindset. So come out of it. Write two to three institutes uh, mock exams. Second thing is write at least thirty to forty mock exams in the next three months. That will actually improve your time management skills as well as the confidence levels, and that will expose you to a wide variety of questions. Now, writing the mock exams is not just enough. We have to analyze it in the right way. I would tell you two things that you have to do while analyzing your exam. After finishing the two hours of mock exam, what you have to do is sit down and and try to uh, point out which questions you have guessed. For example, out of hundred questions in the paper one prelims. In the mock exams, my advice is attempt all the questions because it's a mock exam only. No, in the higher questions, maybe thirty-five questions, you would be genuinely knowing the answer of, and you would be mostly marking them correctly. The remaining sixty-five questions, you, you would have guessed. So mark all those questions as guess, G G G, like the guess. Okay. Now in the sixty-five questions, see how many are right or wrong. Say some thirty-five are, are right, and thirty might have been wrong. Now what you have to do is whatever guesses are right. Spend time on them and analyze how you are able to mark the right questions. In what way you have guessed to make them right. Similarly, whatever questions you have marked them wrongly, try to understand and analyze what way you have guessed that made the answer wrong. If you do this work for thirty to forty mock exams, by the time you go to prelims exam, your way of guessing will drastically improve, and you, your guesswork will actually fetch you more marks. But avoid the cheat codes. For example, in the last four to five years, I have observed. In some YouTube channels and some institutes also promoting one kind of cheat code. Even toppers also. What they're saying is, if it is science and technology question, go for option D all the above. If it is years, most they are wrong. If it is ministries, most they are right. Please do not follow them. I observed that this year, whoever followed the cheat codes have actually failed in the prelims exam. I personally know students who cleared the prelims exam three to four times but failed this time. And I know students who failed in prelims exam last three four years but cleared in 2021. so avoid the cheat code guessing is good you have to guess but not but not by the cheat code guessing by elimination by logical thinking by right way of conceptual clarity which you have to improve by you know analyzing the mock exams that you write in the way i told you then second analysis is out of 100 questions 35 you know so you answered okay remain 65 that you have guessed you guessed means they may be right or wrong but you guessed them so that means you are not very clear in those concepts so go back just revise those concepts once again quickly like that you have to analyze the mock exam if you don't analyze only keep on writing the exams other than time management there is no other use benefits because of this okay third important thing is revision how do you revise all subjects how do you revise friends remember it doesn't matter what books you have read what matters is whatever you have read have you revised them to build the confidence so take an a for paper write down what are the various books you you have read in the last one years for various subjects quality for first 10 chapters i read this book 
next one chapter so and so book economy these two books or whatever so make a note of that and try to quickly revise all those things quickly revise whatever you have read already that actually builds your confidence increase your memory also but some first timers who are writing for the first time would have left out some areas i know some students who left out um, art and culture left out environment completely medieval history completely or physical geography completely so you might have left out so those areas those subjects which you have left out in this three months my advice is read them only at the level of basics and important points how do you do it sit with a friend sit with a mentor ask him that for su that subject that you left out environment you left out for environment take a book sit with them ask them to explain the very important concepts quickly ask them to underline the very important areas you have to focus and read those things don't try to read entire uh, a subject now in the last three months it may be difficult for most of you of course there are few people who are like genius they can cover anything into the i know people who start preparing just three months in advance within three months they finish everything crack the exam also and this video is not for such people okay so the reason why i'm asking you to read those subjects which you left out is because if some very easy questions come from that subject let us say i left art and culture but very easy questions came some three questions came very easy and if you are unable to answer them you are out of the race so read those things that is another thing i want to tell you now friends coming to the current affairs upsc these days is not asking the very important current affairs they are asking the peripheral areas peripheral areas coming in the newspaper so if you have not read the newspaper then you now you cannot do anything just revise the current affairs magazines but at least from now the next 3 months read the newspaper you know why upsc is asking for example june 5th is the exam no they are asking current affairs that came on may 20th may 15th may 10th that means the last two three months current affairs also they are focusing so read newspaper for these three months so that you do not miss out on those current affairs and also friends see i know many students who failed in 2021 prelims because they focused on areas that came in the last five years geography is there they focus only on the map pointing because it, because last 5 years they gave more questions but this year there is no question 21 prelims there is no question on map point environment the last 5 years they focus mostly on the international organizations and about those bodies but this year there there are no many questions on that this year most questions are about the animals and plants flora and fauna i mean similarly economy previously more questions are on current affairs or facts but now more questions are on fundamental concepts so you have to revise you have to select some 30 to 40 important concepts of economy revise those things so friends in that way the take quality for example instead of lakshmi kanth they are asking the basic questions from ncert geography also basic ncert questions they are asking so understand 2021 pattern and try to focus more on those areas so in this way you revise the static part and current affairs also to score more in the prelims also friends my advice is after writing every mock exam sit with two or three friends like minded friends who are working hard for the working hard for the examination you tell them how you guessed the answers and they will tell you how they guessed the answers so that you can share your guessing how how, is, how intelligently you are able to eliminate the uh, wrong options friends always sharing of that uh, guessing knowledge will help you improve your guessing ability in the actual prelims exam at sarachandra is academy for the next 3 months we are conducting 12 exams every sunday morning exam will be there evening key with explanation will be there full exams so though you are writing exams for many other academies parallelly try these 12 papers because we are trying to do the questions purely based on 2021 pattern i mean the peripheral current affairs environment mostly flora and fauna geography mixture of ncert and current affairs so in this way we are following the current we are trying to keep the questions very relevant it may be useful to you all the best